Now to the preliminary hearing for Paul and Ruben Flores. The defense subpoenaed an ORCID podcaster credited with generating new tips during the investigation. News Channel 12's Dave Alley joins us live from San Luis Obispo Superior Court tonight with details on today's hearing. Dave. Now, CJ, a number of unexpected twists and turns during day six of the Paul Flores preliminary hearing. Among those, we learned right after the lunchtime break that your own backyard podcaster, Chris Lambert, was handed a subpoena by the defense during the break. Now, Lambert is here and is working as a media member in the audience. Flores defense attorney Robert Sanger asked the court that uh, Lambert be excluded from the proceedings, but Judge Craig Van Royen denied that request. Uh, it's unclear, it was not stated uh, in court when Lambert is expected to testify on the witness stand. Now, another very significant development uh, happening today, all centering around the color purple. Early this morning, Sanger noted that San Luis Obispo County Sheriff's Detective Clint Cole, who was on the witness stand, was wearing a purple tie along with prosecutor Chris Prevell. Sanger pointing out that they have both done so throughout the hearing. When he asked Cole why, the detective responded it was for Kristen Smart, mentioning that he had read that it was her favorite color. Now, later in the morning, Singer again brought up the tie color, saying the purple ties are inappropriate since, quote, we're supposed to have an impartial prosecution, and this kind of prejudice is what got us here. Singer announcing plans to file a motion to have Prevell recused from the case. Now, after Cole was dismissed from the stand, also heard testimony from a friend of Flores uh, at the time of Smart's disappearance. He talked about hanging out together the same weekend that Smart went missing and how Flores had two black eyes during that time. Later in the morning, a former girlfriend of Flores was called to the stand. She spoke about visiting the Arroyo Grande home of Paul's father, Ruben Flores, and in her testimony said that during the visit there, she was specifically redirected away from a grove of avocado trees by both Paul and Ruben Flores. Now, at the end of today's hearing, a dog handler was on the witness stand uh, speaking about her participation with a cadaver dog during the search of Flores' dorm room in June 1996, just about a month after Smart went missing uh, from uh, the Cal Poly campus. That's the latest uh, from San Luis Obispo County Superior Court reporting live in San Luis Obispo. Dave Valley, News Channel 12. All right. Thank you, Dave.